Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are Pull on the Call podcast. My name is Mandy Mack. And I am Chris Rivers. And today we are excited, but also sad because it's our last episode of the season. It's episode 40. <laughs> it went so fast. <laughs> it went really fast. But I can't believe that we had the opportunity to do 40 of these. That's so amazing. Yes. So thankful. <laughs> Well, today's episode, we're getting into a recap of our wonderful season in case that you're just joining us now or you joined us at the beginning and something happened and you want to get back into what's going on. So we're going to just recap all of the wonderful interviews, the podcast episodes that we had with tips and everything, and also some of our products that we have um, available to you, the free ones and paid ones. Yes, this is a quick recap. We're not going to summarize all of them. We're going to give you the titles so you can be like, okay, and then move on. Yes. (laughs) Um, I would like to um, start off by personally thanking everyone who's like been engaging with us, everyone who came to interview, everyone who submitted Monday Motivations. Thank everyone who commented. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are def- you definitely helped make this first season very successful. And I'm so thankful and blessed. And I can't wait for season two. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, same. Thank you so much. I've learned so much from, from everyone. Um, uh, it's just been so amazing to hear everyone's story, to you know, listen to the journeys of the pole dance and business and everything. Um, I feel really, really fortunate and blessed to have this opportunity. And cannot wait for next year and all the wonderful things and people will meet next year yeah <laughs> same here all right so we'll recap these episodes do you want to start every other sure. start? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> our very first episode was what to expect from your first poll class yes which brings us to our second one which was different styles and levels of pole dancing Yes. And then we talked about popular grip aids for pole and why we use them. Yes, which we'll probably have to do another episode. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then it, which led to our fourth episode of meeting Jamie Wong, a pole dancer, life coach, and performer. Yes, wonderful. Our first interview. And then yes. after that, we met the amazing Salas Charming of the pole circus. And yes. <laughs> we were so excited to be <laughs> performing in the pole circus. That's happening this weekend. So um, hopefully you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if not, um, you can see our videos on Instagram probably. <laughs> um, after interviewing Salas, we got to interview Paulina, a pole coach and performer from Pole in the One which yes. was fun. I <laughs> love that episode. I miss Paulina so much. Um, then we here. talked about safety in the pole studio and home studio. And that one was a really long episode. So yes. get ready for I that one. Lots of safety. <laughs> I think it went, even went into club safety too a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then we got to interview the amazing... Fran from Body by Fran, professional pole strength and conditioning coach. That was so much fun. Yes. After that, we went into sharing your pole dance journey and building self-confidence. So a whole episode about that. Um, so yes. important. Which I think we should do another one for season yes. two at Fans. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we got to meet the incredible um, pole dancer and competitor, Baby Stud Muffin. Yes. Hope to meet up with him again soon and we'll have like a see where he is now. <laughs> yes, PSO Boston. <laughs> yes, coming up soon. Um, after that, our episode was different ways to get certified to teach pole dancing. Yes, and that one had a whole list for y'all. Yes. We then had a beautiful interview with pole dancer and competitor Scarlet Inferno. Oh, I miss yes. her. She was so right, we funny. need a recap. <laughs> we need yes. a recap with her too. <laughs> yes. She's killing it lately. Well, she was always she killing. is. Yes. <laughs> and then after that, we had an episode recap with upcoming pole dance news, and we took a little break. <laughs> yes, we did. 
And then when we got back in it, we started with a fresh new interview from ballet dancer and pole coach Kelly from Poe on the Wall. That was fun. Yes. And then right after that, we did a whole guide to training for a pole competition for students yes. and teachers and competitors. Yes, that was a fun episode with a lot of information for sure. We then went into injury prevention and dealing with pole injuries if you do get them. Yes, and that was a very informative episode. And we are not yes. doctors. We are just pole dancers. But that was for dealing with, you know, injuries. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, we met pole dancer and adult ent- entertainer, Peach Fuzz. She was so amazing. Yes. Hopefully we'll get that to meet awesome. up with her again. <laughs> yes, she's killing it on the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we then went into, oh, this was funny. Funny pole <laughs> dance phrases and terms. That was a funny episode. Y'all yeah. be crazy with those pole dance <laughs> phrases and terms. <laughs> Right, like some of them I actually use now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we'll definitely have to do another episode for that too because that was a good one. <laughs> Agreed. We then got to meet pole dancer, pole competitor Roman Dominate, my fiance. That yeah, that was a fun <laughs> episode. You know, I miss him so much. I'll have to yes. recap with him as well pushing him to get into it again he will he will yes right sometimes life happens but we will come back around polls always here for us (laughs) and then after that was our episode with the amazing donna carnow and she's killing it all over the place (laughs) she just went to iceland (laughs) just one nationals in august too that was fun yes learned a lot from her for sure oh yeah for sure yeah we then went into why do you love pole dance and this was a fun episode because i think we made clips from everyone sharing why they want pole dance so if you can watch that youtube video that was fun we're gonna do uh another episode like that that would be cool why do you love pole dance yes that that episode is really near dear near and dear to my heart because it really it when I, whenever I'm feeling sad, I listen to that episode because it reminds me of why I pole dance, why everyone does this thing. And yeah, hopefully we'll get to do another one where, where even more people can share why they pole dance and inspire others with yes. their reasons. <laughs> and then after that, we did an episode where we interviewed the amazing Sarah B of Bees Knees Knee Pads. <laughs> yes, that was fun. Check out those knee pads, y'all. Well, she yeah, sells now more than knee pads, too. Yeah, she's got some awesome new products coming out. So definitely mm-hmm. check out her interview. Check her out on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> we then did an episode on self-care tips for pole dancers. And this was a cute episode, too. I think we did, like, video clips of us doing random fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was fun to make. <laughs> <laughs> it was silly and fun to make. But self-care is yes. so important. Then yes. after that, we met pole coach and master trainer Fifi Bamboo. She was visiting yes, um, on the East her. Coast from the West Coast. And she was so good to, to give us an interview. And also she taught us like so many things while she I was here. She was so her. helpful. So definitely yes, check out her interview. Her. She was awesome. I miss her. She was, I learned a lot for sure. Yeah, yeah. We, which then brings us to our episode on tools to help you on your pole journey, which um, that was, I think, our products and even products, um, other products that will help you on your pole journey and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Just a compilation of the things that we have helped us and things that we believe will help everyone else. And then we did an episode about ways to make money pole dancing which was a really fun episode. And there's so many ways you can make money pole dancing. So definitely check that episode out. More ways than you think for sure. Mm -hmm. And then we did an awesome episode where I fangirled out with kinesiologist and international pole instructor, Elizabeth B. Fair. That was so much fun. That was a long one too. That was, I really enjoyed that. It was like meeting a star you've looked up to for quite a few years. Yes, she gave us so much information, not only just for pole dance, but for business as well, because she's so successful in her pole business. And it was so amazing to 
to hear all of those tips that have already helped us out. <laughs> yes. And then after that, we met pole dancer and instructor Mallory Nicole, and she was so yeah. amazing. She was so <laughs> sweet. I miss her. <laughs> yes, I love watching all of her videos. <laughs> she kill it. She's also killing it on the gram for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we then went into training a pole competition team, which kind of went co hand in hand with training for a pole competition. Um, yes. The, uh, yes, I don't know if we're ex- we're not explaining episodes, but this was a good episode. This was different ways you could just train a team rather than training yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then we met. The amazing strength and conditioning coach, Britta. She was so awesome. Gave us so yes. many good tips for strength and conditioning for pole dancers. And she actually changed my um, training style <laughs> just from Facts. listening to her tips. Facts. We then went into an, a beautiful interview with pole coach and pole competitor, Liz Ronka. She was amazing. Oh my God. Five, six stage poles. Every time she teaches, she is just awesome. Right. I think about her every single time I set up my one stage pole. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then the week after that, we, we got to release our interview with the amazing Amy Guyon of PSO, Pole Sport Organization. Um, yes. We both fangirls the hell out of that interview. <laughs> <laughs> we did. That was, that was so fun to learn how um, PSO came about. Um, and it really is cool. Like you can start some just come up with an idea and really come up and create something beautiful yeah yeah super inspiring (laughs) um oh my turn we then went into (laughs) an awesome interview with aerial coach jessica john of circus mobility which this was fun because it wasn't only about pole dancing it was about like everything (laughs) yeah yeah awesome right she really made me think about um all aerials and, and how they all relate rather than just the pole dancing and how we can all inspire each other. Yes, I learned a lot from there too. Yeah. And then after that, we met pole coach Claudia Renee of Team Base Work. And Claudia has yes. been one of my favorites for a really long time. So I was super excited to, to learn more about her pole journey. She had a lot of stories. Yes. <laughs> she did. It was so fun. I've, I even just signed up for Team Base Work. They have some good videos. She was Yeah, they did. Yes. We then interviewed pole coach and physical therapist, Kanisha. This was so yes. inspiring. I can't wait to see what she comes up with in the future. Yes, right. She had a special little coming soon that she didn't want to reveal too much yes. about. So hopefully we can meet up with her again and find out what that coming soon is. And she also and... said, feel, feel free to reach out if you have any physical therapy questions that you need help with, which is always important for us. Yes, for sure. And after that, we met Stacey Hamilton of Boston Pole Fitness. Yes. <laughs> she was so was much fun. fun. She had so <laughs> many stories, too. I think that was one of our longest interviews. That was fun. It was like talking to an old friend for sure. Yes. Yeah. And she went into all of the trials and tribulations of having all of her um, studios closed for COVID and bringing them back and and she also Thanks. has aerials at her studio. So that's a cool thing too. Um, not yes. just pole. <laughs> yes. And then we had a beautiful interview with pole coach and pole performer, Jenna Dreamfire, creator of Cape Cod Pole Parties and more. That yes. was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, she also had a, a coming soon in her yeah. interview. <laughs> so we'll have to meet yeah. up with her again and see how it's going with her, her project yes. that she was working on. That was definitely <laughs> fun getting to know her some more for sure. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Then we had, um, we met pole dancer and performer Lacey, and she is a brand new pole dancer. I think only three months pole dancing. So it was really cool to hear her story and, and yes. listen to her journey and see how she's doing with pole. <laughs> yes. Which hopefully will inspire y'all next season to want to be interviewed. We would love to share your story if you, even if you feel, oh, I'm just new or whatever. Mm-hmm. You still have a story, a pole journey. You can inspire others to start. Yes, that's so true. You don't have to be a pole star. <laughs> you can be a star in your own room. 
<laughs> yes. I love and, it. And share your, your pole journey. <laughs> yes. Um, and our last episode was random tips for pole dancers. Y'all had some funny ones for that as well. Y'all be crazy, but I, I do like those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully we'll do more of those. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping in our new season we could have like um, tips for pole teachers and tips for pole studio owners and and most likely another tips for pole dancers because there's many more. (laughs) Tips for online pole press. Let me stop. (laughs) (laughs) For real though. (laughs) Yes. Oh, MG, it took us like nine minutes to recap all of those. Let's do this in a minute for to get a good clip, but yeah, it really took <laughs> <laughs> But it was fun. I mean, all those episodes were so much fun. Um, and thinking about them going through this list, it really like brought back memories of how much I've learned, how much I've grown, and how much I can't wait to see what happens. Yes. So just think I if feel... you watched all Go of ahead. the 39 episodes, you will have be so enriched just like we are. <laughs> yes, I will say I know I've learned at least some one thing from each interview um because I feel like everybody has something to offer um and it was so uh, it was truly so beautiful to interview everyone it really was for real thank you for being so willing to share your stories because that takes a lot of courage too because you know maybe you'll look back and be like oh no Facts. But all of those oh no's make us who we are. So yes. <laughs> yes. So next we're gonna go into some of our products and then we'll go into sneak peeks. Yes. We got 14 minutes, maybe. <laughs> I know, we gotta hurry up. <laughs> so our free products. You can find all of our, um, on our YouTube channel, we have lots of free stuff. We have lots of free tutorials. That's where all of our uh, podcast videos are too. So if you don't want to just listen, you can watch and see all of our silliness (laughs) in person. Um, And all of those are there. And um, hopefully YouTube will give us a fun handle soon. I saw that they were changing that handle, the URL, because I went to go change it and it was not allowed (laughs) me to yet. So hopefully soon it will be youtube.com slash pull on the call but for right now it's youtube.com <laughs> slash weird jumble of of letters and, and numbers so but you can we'll get link the, in the bottom <laughs> right we'll get the link in the bottom for now <laughs> but we also have some more free stuff on our website and that's at pull on the call.com and there's a link right at the top and it says free tutorials so you can just click on that yes. and get our free stuff there <laughs> i just added more tutorials and we're gonna add more um so yeah but I mean you get all of them on YouTube too <laughs> yes <laughs> and then that brings us to our paid products don't forget the free courses we have free oh, online right. courses that you can download besides just the tutorials <laughs> yes, sorry there's a seven day pole <laughs> <okay>. e-course <laughs> that one's all free um the yes. intermediate pole course is free and the free pole dancers beginner pole ebook is free Yes, I'm thinking about updating those for next year, but we'll see what happens. We have so much coming out. (laughs) Yeah, and if you've downloaded them already, let us know how you like them. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Um, If I, I really am strongly thinking of uploading, just like adding a few more tricks and then sending it out to everybody who downloaded the first ones. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't already downloaded them, now's the time. (laughs) (laughs) Or give us your email. Yes, and join our mailing list. You'll get more freebies in the your email. Mm -hmm. Um, Then we go to the paid products, like you said. Yeah, so we've got um, our interactive pole trick posters. There's one for beginner moves and one for intermediate moves. And each poster is 13 by 19. So it's a decent size. So you can hang it in your pole studio at home, in the club, in the backstage area. (laughs) Um, And there's 16 tricks um, listed for, you know, like for beginners. And then you can have the pole trick name and the QR code so that you can scan it with your phone and get the tutorial for that pole trick. And same thing yes. for the intermediate, another 16 tricks on that one. And if you want the intermediate and beginner pull tricks posters bundle, you can get both of them and save. <laughs> I think you can save like $10 if you get both of them. Yes. Those are super cool and they're available right now. <laughs> yes. 
We also have our uh, fun poll course, which is very, um, how do you say, affordable. Yes. <laughs> um, I think you get like three months at like five ninety nine, dollars and then, it yeah. go, and then it goes up to like $7.99 after that. And it includes conditioning exercises, beginner pole tricks, intermediate pole tricks, um, conditioning exercises for like inverts, shoulder mounts, things like that. And we update it every month if you um, sign up for it. So that is cool. Um, check that out. Yes. And are we doing the water bottles or no? <laughs> <laughs> the water bottles right now are only available in studio at at Pole and Wall. <laughs> okay, but... so like a souvenir if you visit us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe in the future we'll have some um, to ship out. I just haven't figured out the logistics of that yet. <laughs> oh, I understand completely. Yeah. Um, yes, I think those are all our paid products, right? For now, I mean, there we have, if you want to go through our um, up and coming, we have our poll um, checklist activity book that takes you from intro to pole to level two. Um, yes. It has uh, an actual like list of tricks that are suggested um, for each level. And you can literally check them off once you've learned them. Um, and it's kind of like a good compilation of like your pole journey. And yes. there's also going to be these really cool flashcards um, with pole <laughs> tricks on them. There's, I think there's 32 flashcards um, and it has the picture of the pull trick, the name of the pull trick, and the QR code of the pull trick. So you can use them for choreo building. You can use them in your classrooms. You can use them to learn the pull tricks. Um, <laughs> so those will be available very soon. Um, they're at the printer right now. So we're just waiting. Yeah, so excited. <laughs> um, other things I do want to put this out there I would really love to do studio interviews like if you get your studio interested and they want to do a group interview we would love to interview you all if we can get the time right um that would be fun <laughs> yes I love that that would be so amazing yeah so then you could share your studio um in the video obviously hopefully with time we can meet in person that would be awesome but we yeah. really want to not only share post stories but post studios as well hopefully with time because there's so many places and so many beautiful people out there <laughs> right and sometimes as as you know pole studio owners we're kind of on our own little island so listening to how other studios are we can all inspire each other to you know be better <laughs> yes and then you could share your studio with others give us a little tour <laughs> yes i would love to see all other studios right i just yes. feel like we'll be so inspired yes um do you want to go into what uh, other one you're trying to work on hopefully with like people yes. asking the questions yeah so in addition to um interviewing you know studios and pole dancers in the future we're hoping to also add um like shorter questions where we ask a question <laughs> and if you wanted to respond you could send us a video and we would take those videos and compile them into an episode about that question i think that would oh, be a really yes. good way okay. to get more people involved um, yes compilation in videos <laughs> yeah and to get a more well-rounded view of the answer to whatever question that we had and we could also um have questions sent in from you guys as well Yes. I'm also, I would like to maybe at least once in season two, try one session where we do a live call in, give y'all the opportunity to call us as we record. Yes. Um, as of now, since it's new, it will only be one time next year. And I don't know <laughs> where. We'll figure out the logistics of that. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Um, but I think that would be fun if we could record a live episode and y'all call in and ask us up and all that beautiful stuff. That would be fun. So we're working on that. I know I'm working on that too. Yes. And we definitely want to have some more online showcases because the last one was so much fun yes. and um, we want more people to get involved. So we'll definitely be yes. having another showcase coming yes. soon. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. I want to personally thank 
all of y'all for your patience because this was our first year. And I know personally, I made certain mistakes in certain areas. I dropped the ball on like email contacting y'all um, as as much as I wanted to. And I remember with the showcase, um, the first sign in form was just off when it didn't work. That's okay. <laughs> to, you know, we're it. learning. <laughs> yes. Um, but I do want to thank y'all for your patience. It was definitely a growing experience and I cannot wait for season two. I, I promise, I promise we will focus a lot on contacting via email, building that personal relationship and giving you more free stuff and access to that. Um, you have all found us and you've all been amazing. And now we want to reach out to you more and hear more from y'all because you're the reason why we do this. Yes, right. Like, thank you so much for being gracious with all of our mistakes. Um, <laughs> we are just humans, and you know, I we've never done this before, and I'm so grateful that it's worked out so well so far. And we'll just keep going as long as it con- yes. continues going well. <laughs> yes. If you have any episodes that you wanna that you want us to make for next season, please email us. Our email will be on the bottom. We would love to create any episodes for whatever topic, as long as it's related to pole dancing and respect, of course. Um, But reach out to us. um, Take these two months to catch up. Oh, and also, you hear it first because, of course, you're the listeners. If you want to get interviewed for season two, reach out to us. Let us know. We're going to start marketing that and scheduling interviews, I think, when December for season two around there. Yeah. Um, so hit us up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or your studio, too. Any, whether you want to do a solo one or your studio, hit us up so we can schedule that interview for season two. Yeah, right. This is a platform for pole dancers. So if you have like an upcoming cool thing that's coming up that you want to shout out about, contact us and we can, you know, interview about about it and get all your information out. Yes. And that will be for starting in January. (laughs) Yes. Right. Like for December, probably not for December, but (laughs) starting in 2023. Oh, I'm hoping interviews for December stuff, but we'll see. <laughs> Wait, well, well, I meant like we'll interview people in December, but for any upcoming events, it will probably be like the coming year. Yeah. Yeah. You have to promote next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this year's done, everyone. We're in the third quarter, fourth quarter. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Um, anything else? Yes. More showcases, more email contacting. So excited for all the tutorials we're going to come up with. We're going to work on, I know we have made it a goal to not only work on short tutorials, but like episode tutorials, like longer videos. I think we wanted to make that a goal. So we'll schedule those. I'm excited. Yes. I have a few in the queue. Is that how you say yes. it? Yes, yeah, same here. <laughs> well, I mine are in the me. queue. <laughs> mine are in the queue, but I've started recording with yes. next year in mind. So I'm excited. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Ooh, it is that time. Right? I think that's it. This is our last episode, everyone. Ah! Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot say thank you enough. You are all so amazing. Thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you for always listening. Um, Feel free to take these two months to catch up and reach out to us. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you want to hear. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Right. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for everything. We cannot wait to see you guys in the new year. (laughs) I guess that's we, my name is Mandy Mack. And I am Chris Rivers. <laughs> and we are and Pole on the Call. We <laughs> are we Pole are... on the Call. Signing oh off. For our last time this year, signing <laughs> off. Ooh, heels. They I'm, match I'm my pants. Ooh, showcasing my, my competition heels. <laughs> I love it. So pretty. <laughs> right? From Too Italian fun. Nightshade. Nightshade Designs. Yeah, sponsor us in the future. Yeah.